This is one of the, uh, the, the newer nodes, one of the 13 that we built uh, just last year. So the amplifiers are in the base of the pole here. So we have two stacks of amplifiers in here. So it covers all the bands. So we have 850, we have 700, 1900, and AWS. And then they join up to go up to the antenna, the Omni antenna up there. This is one of the new ones. It was built last year. So it was built in December was when we put it on air. You have the low band, so you have 700 and 850, and, one, and then you have the 1900 up to the AWS band, 2100. But I gotta believe there's sort of a certain uh, total megahertz that can operate at one time, which has gotta be the limit for why you can't get anybody else in here. No, the limit is the space. Oh. The physical limitation, yeah. Oh, okay. How's yeah. that called? We have, um, they have service, we have the fiber goes back to our hub location, and then that's where they, they connect to their central office. You have to dig the fiber as part of the whole project? Yes. Under the city? It's all in the ground, underground. everything's underground. And where would this go to the next? What do you, you have a you have a fiber you have a you have a fiber backbone that yeah. connects and then you just do drops Lateral. for each ones and then it home runs all the way back to the hub. Uh, yeah, it's the it's the Comscope gear. It's yeah. the Comscope okay. gear has okay. fans so in it. Okay. Yeah. So here's one of the older original ones, 14 of the original. A little, bigger, right? yeah. a little bit wider, like he was saying, you know, so a little different structure. Um, but uh, it's got the bands on it. What is it, fiber glass? Oh, so this is the fiberglass? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Looks cast iron. Yeah, it does. It looks cast iron, but it's, yeah, fiberglass. <laughs> no, don't have any problem with the Omni above it. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's the Omni up above it. Yes. But the ones that the city put the signs on blend a lot better. This makes a lot, yeah, much better than other Yeah, they blend better. So that's part of the arrangement. Eventually, they're going to put signs on it. But the original ones were New Path, and then the new ones were Crown. Yeah, next G didn't have them down here. So is this a new one or an old one? This is one of the original older ones, so 2007. Have you had any issues with security or anything like that? Knock on wood somewhere, <laughs> no, no. We've been really good. I mean, we've gone through Mardi Gras, we've gone through Super Bowl victories, and we haven't had any, any problems. And now we're, we're getting ready to come back to these 14, and we're going to upgrade them for LTE for um, AT&T. So we'll swap out the equipment, you know, with some, you know, multi-band equipment. Well, for the new ones, if you want to say that, um, we probably we were under contract, and we got it signed in like September, and we were on air in October, in December, before the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. And part of it was, you know, we, because of the expedited process, we didn't have to go and get these reapproved, and and you know, and we worked with the city. I mean, we had given them heads up that was coming, and but when the actual contract got signed, it was like September. And then most of it was just the board. It was all most of the hard work was the fiber and the ground and and work and you got to get traffic control and everything else. No, these we, these were the original ones. So we had these in 2007. So we just followed this similar design for the new ones. And and so we already had the model and it was already approved. Boot care commission was all yeah we like this. Nobody's complaining. Let's stick with this type of design. And so what we did is just you know made it metal and we you know did did some improvements to it. But it was basically the same look to it. That was the main thing. They wanted to have the same look so and the, feel. And did the equipment that's inside get smaller since the other ones were smaller? You know, it's actually the same. These are Ion M's from Comscope and right. the same. And the equipment was all the same because actually we've upgraded these since they were originally installed. Okay. And so we've already swapped out. Originally we had another c company in here, and another that's why it was vendor. Bigger? And it was a bigger footprint. Yeah. It was okay. a little big form factor was a little bigger, so we went from one company to another, shrunk it down and we got you know, we had to do it for carriers and so for the different bands that were. This one's um, like a fiberglass. fiberglass. Yeah. But you know, you can't really tell that. But it, it looks, is it looks like it. To the other one, and then I wonder, like, when it's metal and you have, you know, RF and all that other stuff, and. No, because all matter? the RF's up to the top, so yeah, doesn't as an effect that you know we you know you, you've driven the, the coverage and proven to the carriers that it meets their requirements. But the other part is you know we like to have it where each carrier has their own box amplifier box. They have it all. They don't share amplifiers or anything like that. What we try to build is what we call parallel systems. So you don't they don't share anything. So like AT&T doesn't share anything else with Verizon or T-Mobile. They, the they have they have the there you go on this one. Uh, but they have their own fiber, they have their own amplifier, and the only thing they have to share for this is the antenna. But on our typical DAS anywhere else, they'll have their own antennas too. But this one, because we had to go Omni, they have to share. But everything else, so like you know, T-Mobile's got their own amplifier, their own fiber, everything's separated. Um, for, like, actually for these the older ones, we have AT&T on 14 of them, and T-Mobile's only on 8 of them. So they don't have to take all of them. It's like, you know, some of them, their needs are different. So T-Mobile said, I only need these eight locations. Yeah. 
and then on the newer ones, the new ones it's both a Verizon, Verizon's on 13 of them, and Sprint is only on seven of them. Uh, what's the footprint? You know, I was saying because it just it's the limited height and stuff. You know, it's almost line of sight, um, so you might get a quarter mile if it's straight down the same road. But once you turn the corner, you're not going to get too much. Yeah. So that's just the way it is. We would love to get taller, but they're what's not going to listen. Sorry. Is the output power? Uh, the amplifiers are 20 watts each, you know, for each band. So, and then, and it depends if they're combining yeah, and stuff. Sharing. Yeah, sharing. Okay. So for these, we use Comscope gear. It's they have, they have the nice form factor, and so it's a nice package, and it fits in here, and and uh, reliable, and everybody's happy with them. Yes, we have a hub location. It's outside of the quarter, about a mile and a half. So the same base station can feed multiple. The carrier, the, each carrier will have their own BTS, and they'll feed you know whatever ones. So we'll have their fiber to whatever nodes they want to use. So if they have the, we'll have one hub location, but they can feed all the nodes as many as they want, just because fiber, we have a fiber backbone that feeds to all the nodes. How so, far did you say the hub was? How, how far? It's about like a mile and a half outside the quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not too far, but we couldn't put the hub in the quarter anywhere, so we're out there and we had, it's on a raised platform and everything else. Did you consider putting anything up on the buildings instead of doing it this way? No, we, it's easier for us to work in the right-of-way space, and you know when you have to work buildings and you have individual leases, and you have, then it just the process is, you know, especially like in this area. He was saying each building might have different requirements, you know, for the you know stealthing or what they want to see, and just take forever. So in a public right-of-way, we're set up as a public utility, so we have rights to be in the public right-of-way space. So it makes it a lot faster and easier.